What's going on everyone? My name is King. This is another video. This is going to be the top five free to play items you should flip. I know with mobile coming out, a lot of people aren't free to play and trying to figure out what to do, how to make money. I think personally, I think you should flip. Flipping is the easiest way to make money. All you do is set the GE, you buy some items, you sell some items for a little bit higher than what you bought them for, and you make a good profit. So we're gonna get into my top five items you should flip. This isn't the exact, these are the best items. These are just what I would do if I was free to play. And if you like my videos, if you like this video, please leave a like down below. And if you want to continue to watch the videos I make, please hit that subscribe button. With that being said, let's get into the video. The first items I would flip if I were free to play would be food. Not just any food, but food that gets traded often. So that is your lobsters and your swordfish. Now, raw lobsters and raw swordfish, you can buy 15,000 every four hours. And with the cooked versions, you can buy 6,000 every four hours. Now, these four items usually have anywhere between a 1 to 10 GP margin. So with buying 15,000 every four hours, you can easily make 100K plus. And buying 6,000 every four hours, you can easily make 50K plus on just food alone and free to play, which makes this a great item to flip. The only thing that I would say that is off about this item in particular is it takes a little bit once you find the margin, because usually the lobster sellers, which are the bots, they don't sell the lobsters Anytime during the day. Usually they wait till nighttime to sell the lobsters. Same with the swordfish bots. They wait till nighttime to dump the lobsters on the swordfish and then they start over again the next day. So the best option would yes probably wait until nighttime, put in your offer, and when you wake up, flip them real quick and make a profit. Or you could just flip them as they're going along. Yes, it will take maybe like 30 minutes to flip all your items. But in the day, you'll make some profit. And that's all what free to play is for. It's just make profit, buy a bond, and get membership. The next couple items that I will flip is also going to be one of those harder to flip items. They're going to take a little bit longer because of bots. The main issue with these free to play items up until the very last one that I would suggest you flip are going to be people bought these items so much. That means the margins are going to be wonky anytime during the day until you get nighttime in America's um, time zone. If you're in England, you know when you wake up in the morning, America's at night. So the margins could be a lot better for you. But if you're in America, they're going to suck nine times out of ten. So that being said, my next item would be logs. Logs are a great flip. U logs, you can buy 11,000 every four hours. Maple logs, willow logs, you can buy 15,000 every four hours. Oak logs, you can buy 15,000 every four hours. Maple and willow logs you usually have a 1 GP margin and they buy and sell pretty fast sometimes. It depends during the time of day that you buy or sell them. And usually, you know, that'd be a quick 15K. U logs usually have about a 10 GP margin. So that'd be an easy 100K plus. And oak logs, really because of oak planks, you never know what oak logs could be at. Sometimes they could be really cheap. Sometimes they could be on their margin. Either way, usually have about a 1 to 10 GP margin. And you can make a quick and easy 100K really fast after you flip them. I would highly suggest you flip logs because... Obviously, you don't have that many choices in free-to-play, and these don't take as long as most items in free-to-play if you were to flip something else, and I like them. They're a personal favorite of mine. After logs, the next item is ores. Ores also include coal. They are great items to flip. Usually, I would focus on iron ore, coal, and gold ore because those are the most actively traded items. You can reach out to Metro. I wouldn't go past those four variants of ore. But if you must, you could go to Runite, you could go to Adamant. It just depends on your margins. Runite, obviously the margin is going to be in the 100 GPs plus. But because of the bots, you might not see your profit until early next morning or the day after. And personally, I don't like keeping my money in the GE overnight, but you know to each his own. But the coal usually has a 4 GP margin almost consistently. An easy, easy 50k plus item. Any time of day you want to flip it. Gold, same way, usually about 4 GP margin. Iron ore usually has about a 2 GP margin. All in all, easy 50K profit margins. If you flip them, you can buy 13,000 every 4 hours. And I would flip ore any time I'm on free to play. The next two items are going to be a lot more consistent than the past three. The past three I would just flip if you're just starting off in your cash deck. And you really don't know what to do to try to get the hold on things. These next two... 
First off, this is runes. Runes are a great item to flip. I was focused on the four major ones, which is Cosmic, Chaos, Nature, and Death. Cosmic, Chaos, Nature, you can flip 11,000 of those every four hours, and with Death Rune, you can flip 10,000 every four hours. And they usually have a 4 GP margin, but they buy and sell so quick, it's not going to feel like a flip. You're going to be making 40k in five minutes just off of one rune. Now you flip all four of those, that's an easy 160k in five minutes flipping four runes i would highly highly recommend you flip runes anytime you're flipping in free to play because they are some of the best things you can flip for a free to play account now the final item i would suggest you flip in free to play would be rune items that is rune axes rune scimitars rune two head and swords rune plate legs rune full helms rune plate bodies rune chain bodies anything rune in the name you should flip because they buy and sell so fast because these are a highly, highly sought off the items in free to play and members everywhere in old school RS, you can find somebody wearing rune. I would flip these every single day if I had a free to play only account. I would flip them all the time. They usually have a 200 to 400 GP margin depending on the items. Sometimes you can get into your thousands with the rune items, the rune armor sets, and the rune weapons. You can buy 70 every four hours. Again, they could have a 2000 GP margin. They could have a 100 GP margin. Either way, they buy and sell so quick, just like runes. They don't really feel like a flip. They just feel like, oh my god, this was an easy amount of money I just made in free to play with basically no work. With that being said, that concludes this video. In conclusion, you should flip food, ore, logs, runes, and rune items if you are a free-to-play account at the moment. I used to do this back when I was a noob a year and a half ago when I started Old School RuneScape, and I loved it. I loved flipping so much that I got addicted to it, started a YouTube channel, and I have an Instagram account where I try to teach everyone about the wonders of flipping. A lot of people have this bad connotation about flippers and just, oh, they're just scammers. Oh, they're not working for the money. Well, flipping, you know... It's just the same to me as if you were bossing, but to each his own opinion, I think this is the best way to get cash in the game. You can have a personal opinion on that, but if you like this video, please leave me a like, and if you want to see future videos of mine, please subscribe. Check out my Instagram for more flipping videos. It's your boy King, and I'm out. Peace.